Hey guys, I'm Alastair from Trail and Kale, and this is my Olukai Ohana sandals review. The Ohana sandals are Olukai's most popular sandals or flip-flops, and that's probably down to the, the style, but also the functionality of these very nice looking Olukai sandals. So let me go over a few of the key differentiators with these sandals, maybe as opposed to other ones that you might be looking at buying. The Olokai sandals, the Ohana in particular, has a really nice soft footbed, which is an EVA molded foam. So what's nice about these is there is some arch support on the footbed. Hopefully you can see that, this section here going up and supporting that arch. So when you look at that as opposed to a standard flip-flop, like this one here, they're generally completely flat pieces of rubber or foam. And to get any molding or any shape or arch in those shoes, you probably have to wear them for about a year, and then you get your own compression molding, which is your feet making them a little smelly and compressed where you actually need support. So yes, they will fit nicer, um, than when you first buy them after a year. But actually where you're compressing the shoes, you're actually compressing them too much and you're losing support. So anyway, I'm not gonna talk about these because in comparison, they're rubbish. So back to the Olukai Ohana flip-flops or sandals. Loving the EVA foam footbed. It's really soft. You can see here, plenty of compression going on. So it's really nice underfoot as opposed to an old school flip-flop. Um, also, looking at the straps on the top, they're made with a synthetic leather. So it's not really leather, but it looks very similar and looks very classy. On the inside of those straps, you've actually got some soft material on here. Um, and that's really nice because that's obviously what touches the top of your feet when you're not wearing socks because you, let's face it, you shouldn't be wearing socks if you're wearing sandals, that's the faux pas. Um, also, when it comes to comfort, you've got this, what's called a toe post, or a toe thong maybe, some of you might call it, naughty naughty. This is made from nylon material, so it's very soft. Uh, it comes in two pieces, hopefully you can see there. Uh, it's just, yeah, that's really nice. So if you're wondering about what that feels like um, on your feet, if you're worried about it being um, solid or scratchy or not flexible, don't worry about that. This is probably the most comfortable sandal I've ever worn. And this nylon toe post has a lot to do with that. Uh, one of the other key differentiators of the Olokai sandals, the Ohana in particular, is that the um, the outsole here is non-marking. Uh, also looks really cool, uh, if you ask me. Uh, love for Voronoi type pattern on the bottom. Kind of blends in with uh, a natural pattern like pebbles or something like that. Um, before I go on, I've written a really in-depth review of these Olokai sandals. So definitely go follow that link up there if you want to learn more about these before buying them. There's lots of more valuable information in that review on trailandkale.com. Okay, so the outsole, love the look of it. Uh, love that it's non-marking, because if you do wear these inside, then you don't have to worry about marking your floors in your house or your home. Um, also, the outsole has plenty of grip. Um, there's lots of traction because of this interesting pattern and the rubbery, um, material used in the outsole, so lots of grip in the sandals. Looking at the footbed once again, so let me bring back this old flip-flop. You can kind of see, these are the same size. So size US men's nine. And you can see the footbed is quite a lot wider on the Olokai. Um, so what that means is there's a lot more support and there's a lot more kind of space for your feet to splay within the shoe. Um, and you can kind of see where they expect your feet to be by this pattern ready, this material here, because it's this is not as soft as your 
uh, footbed material. You can see that's where your feet are supposed to actually be. But having a wider footbed gives you more support when you're actually walking. Um, and it just feels better, especially if you're walking on sand. Because if you remember your physics lessons, then you will know that a uh, much wider surface area means that you're not going to sink into the sand as much. So that's probably what they've done here with these Olakai Ohana sandals um, to keep you up on top of the sand rather than slipping down. It'll also make walking on sand much easier. The Olakai Ohana sandals retail for around $75, I believe it is. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. You can buy these at REI.com, um, which I recommend doing. There's lots of different color options and variations available on there. Um, so $75 for a shoe like this. Some may think that's quite a lot for a flip-flop or a sandal, but you compare it to something like this, there's really no comparison. So I think $75 is actually pretty good. Uh, this is very well made. Um, I will say they're made in China, so it does look like they're made in Hawaii from all the marketing, yep. But they're actually made in China. But the quality is just, it's great. So um, I wouldn't worry about that so much. Yeah, so for me, this Olokai sandals, the Ohana sandals are a thumbs up. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you found it useful, please give it a like. It does help our channel grow. And also, if you know anyone else looking for some sandals or flip-flops, definitely point them in the direction of this video. Hopefully it will help them as well. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the next review. Thanks for watching.